Teresa Strasser, you're on the list. Young drivers from across the world are on a roll in Northeast Ohio. Mike Brookbank goes for a ride around Cleveland. The All-American Soapbox Derby is underway and Northeast Ohio is well represented when it comes to skilled soapbox drivers. We have four world championship titles and eight national championship titles. If you plan on checking out the action in Akron this week, here's what you need to know. We have three different types of cars, a stock car, a super stock, and a masters. A race is two trips down the hill. You go down the hill once, you switch lanes and you switch wheels with your opponent and you go down the hill again. Also, be prepared to see very little of the racers. The lower you can get in your car, the better. Here's a fun fact. Our city is well represented in the world of soapbox derby racing. Cleveland is probably one of the most competitive race cities out there. That's so steep, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's how Annika Franca Mole reacted when she saw the Cleveland Velodrome for the very first time. This is a really huge opportunity for a lot of the cyclists around here. Cleveland's really got a lot going on in terms of cycling. Gary Burkholder and some biking buddies came up with the idea while sitting at a bar. Thought, hey, Cleveland weather is so wonderful in the winter, wouldn't it be nice to have an indoor velodrome? Their dream became reality, opening the track last summer. When we built this, we cannot wait to get on the track. Here's the secret to staying upright on those steep turns. If you can maintain a 17 mile an hour speed for maybe a few minutes at a time, you are definitely capable of riding the track. The folks behind the velodrome offer a track 101 course which makes cyclists comfortable before they ride. I'm just loving it so much, it's so awesome. For info on how you can ride the velodrome, check out my Facebook page. For The List, I'm Mike Brookbank.